Hey guys, uh, for today's video I thought I would record some Clockwork Empires. Uh, see, before I go any further, just, uh, I, I have like the flu right now, so I apologize if my voice sounds weird. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, I'll try not to uh, cough too much on the, <clears throat> on the stream. But uh, anyway, I played Clockwork Empires. This is from, uh, I believe it's the studio that also did Dungeons of Dreadmore, which is a, a fun roguelike uh, that I... In the past, I probably played over 100 hours of it. I might do a video of that later because I haven't played, I think, in a year or more. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is like a colony uh, simulation, kind of like dark fantasy. Well, yeah, I mean, there's some dark fantasy elements to it. It's not like all dark fantasy. But anyway, it's still an alpha, so it's still undergoing development. Um, it's a fun game, but I feel like right now you know it's still missing something to make it special but again like I said it's still an alpha and early development so you know they're still adding stuff to it all the time so I'm keeping an eye on it and hoping that you know eventually it'll be really good uh, for now you know I thought I'd show you <clears throat> what there is so far um, I think it's been an alpha for a while one or two years even um, yeah I've had it for a while but let's, uh, let's get started so I'm gonna create a new world and, uh, I guess there's no progress bar for that. Like I said, alpha, early development still. Lots, uh, lots of things that still need polishing, so, you know, keep that in mind. Okay, I guess it's done. Uh, so, new game. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, um, this is like a super early version of the map they want to do. Right now, you can only choose two colonies. Um, one's in, uh, like a tropical forest, tropical swamp area. The other one's like a aspen forest. Uh, you can see this one has aspen forest, grasslands, high prairie, and conifer forest. This other one has tropical forest, savanna, and tropical swamp. I think eventually they want to make it so you can choose like anywhere on the map and there'll be like a lot of different biomes. A lot more than there are currently. Um, but like I said, it's still an alpha, you know, so it's still like I think a long ways away from release. At least six months to a year, if not more. Uh, so I think I'll go to the aspen forest. And for loadout, I think I'm just going to choose the standard one. Uh, <clears throat> don't need the tutorial. Uh, yeah. So okay, let's uh, let's get started. <clears throat> so yeah, in this game, there's uh, I think they said they like have some took some inspiration from like uh. Lovecraft and like Cthulhu and stuff. There's lots of those type of dark horrors. Um, or at least just supposed to be eventually. I know there are some currently. I, I don't know if they're. I, I think they're planning on adding more because right now it's not the, not a huge. It doesn't play a huge part basically currently. So the message from the developers. Oh, welcome to experimental build 45C. Fire, everything is burning. Oh God. Okay, that sounds uh, promising. <laughs> so uh, let me pause it or where is our pause button okay yeah i guess the animation is not stopping you pause so yeah it's paused currently uh so those little crates are gonna pop open into a bunch of supplies it's dropping here are our, our colonists to start off with um so we have looks like let's see one two three four five five uh manager or overseers and one uh one nco uh and yeah, these are yeah that matches up with what we see here. Wait, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So do you have one worker then? No. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we have seven colonists. Uh. Oh, that, that's why this guy has one worker in his uh in his work party. But yeah, basically, overseer oversees a team of workers, and you assign your other unskilled colonists into these little slots. And then you can, each team will do like one job at a time. Um, so first things first, uh, let's highlight this section and chop down the trees for some wood. Uh, we're gonna also start foraging here to get some food. And then I think we're gonna want some stones. So we're gonna mine these and was this clay I think. Uh, we don't really need clay right now so I guess I'm not gonna mark it yet. Um, so yeah, these little black caps are uh, like mushrooms. You can, or fungus, you can collect and they can eat it. Uh, rock, you know, wood and rocks. You uh, 
wooden rocks you uh, use for building materials. Uh, Alright, there we go. Sorry, I forgot how to scroll for a second. What is this? This is uh, malachite, uh, more stone. Yeah, so. Okay, here's some berry bushes, I think. We'll forge those. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of uh, starts off like a standard colony simulator, you know, there's resources to harvest. Uh, <clears throat> the building system is kind of cool. You can do uh, you can do custom uh, custom building shapes and it'll like procedurally generate the roof and stuff. Uh, so let's start with the carpentry workshop. That's pretty important. Uh, we'll just stick this right here. Oh, whoa. Okay, there's already some weird horror thing right there. Uh, hold on. What is that? Uh, on. Terrifying Obeliskian. Or Obeliskian? Yeah. Okay, a terrifying Obeliskian is menacing your colonists. That's fantastic. Uh, well, I guess we could try to have our soldier kill him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I. No, oh, well, doesn't let me actually highlight it. Maybe the soldier will just. Because, like, normally if there's, like, a fish person, you can, like, highlight it and tell your soldier to shoot them. Um, uh, maybe the soldier is going to shoot him on. Yeah, okay. The soldier right here is trying to kill it. So, this is unusual. Usually you don't see, uh, like, the horror elements until, like, hours and hours into the game. But I haven't played recently, so it's possible in the recent patch they, I don't know, made them more common. Uh, this thing seems to be pretty strong. My one soldier is failing to do much damage to it, it looks like. Uh, come on, kill him before <laughs> you massacre my helpless colonists. Uh-oh, he's going to attack my soldier now, it looks like. Whoa, what the hell was that? Did you just kill him? Holy crap. Wow. Okay, so my soldier's dead. And the tree's on fire. That is... I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> you just... Yeah, wow. I Looks like they made the game a lot more dangerous. Either that or we got really unlucky. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want the guy... He came over from the, somewhere over here, so I don't know if I want to go in that direction. Uh, I don't see any other ones, so maybe we're okay. We better be, because... Yeah. Uh, actually, can I turn one of my... Uh, one of my s other guys into a soldier, I'm trying to remember if that's possible. I think so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so there's an obelisk game faction. Uh, oops. Hunting force. Yeah, I don't think you can. I think we have to get another one from uh, from our home government. Alright, so well, let's go back to building the workshop I was trying to build originally. So as I was saying, you can build... Uh, things, but you don't have to do like a square, see, you can add on like weird shapes and stuff if you want. Uh, we could just do, I don't know, I mean if you want you can do something really weird like that, I don't know why you would, but you can is the point. Uh, how do I delete some of this? Actually, yeah, I don't want to make it that big, so well, I'm sure there's a way to delete it, I'm just not really sure. Um, normally I just make square ones, because or rectangular rectangular ones because it seems more efficient and easier but uh, maybe for the purposes of this video I'll uh, do some weird shaped ones just for fun so why don't we do something like that I guess kinda like a little L shape so that takes 12 wood and 6 stone so we'll start that and then so you put these modules in uh, so we'll put a loading bay door in so they can bring supplies in we'll put a normal door in so the workers can get in uh, so we'll want a carpentry uh, uh, there we go. Carpentry workbench. Uh, we'll put one there. And we'll put another one, say, right here. Uh, worker certificate. What is this? Oh, okay. So it's just decorating. Uh, open window. Um, yeah, I think decorating is new since the last time I played. I'm not really sure exactly what it does. I'm guessing it makes your people happier. Uh, I guess I'll just put a few decorative things here and there just to, you know, make it not as dreary. I don't know, maybe we'll put this little circuit or certificate somewhere. I'll we'll just stick it right there. Um, and I guess yeah, why not put a sign outside of our outside of our thing? Uh, standing desk. I think this is for like the overseer to do his work at. Um, so we'll stick that right there. And then that's good for our workshop. So once this is built, we will uh, assign a team to it, and then they can. Uh, yeah, well, we can't actually do anything until it's done. Um, now let's see, where's the roof view? Uh, oh, you know what? It's not actually done being built yet, so you can't see it, but I will show you the roof because, like like I said, it procedurally generates it, depending on the shape of your building. Um, 
So yeah, uh, one thing that's missing I think right now, and I'm hoping they add it later on, is as far as I know, there's no way to speed up the game. Like, there's no fast speed. I'm assuming they're planning on adding that because I've never ever played a colony, any kind of simulation game that didn't have that option. But like I said, this is an early alpha, so it's entirely possible they just haven't got around to adding it yet. So yeah, that, that is kind of annoying. Uh, and let's see, we'll set up a stockpile near our first workshop. So we'll move all of our supplies there. So yeah, I guess we can just put everything there for the time being. Uh, so we'll have workers that are idle, we'll start carrying food and other stuff uh, to the stockpile. And wood from the trees we chopped down. Uh, so what do we have? We have 19 logs, 7 planks, and the carpentry workshop can make more. And 11 block, 12 blocks now. Uh, so I think this thing was going to take like 12, uh, 12 pieces of wood or something. So they're still, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, they're still carrying wood there. And once it's all there, they can build. They can actually build the thing. Um, <clears throat> Oh, you know what? We have a dead guy who's just rotting away. We should probably make a graveyard because I'm sure they're not happy continually seeing him just, uh, you know, being dead. So I guess we will stick it down here a little ways. Uh, there we go. And someone will go bury that guy now, finally. Uh, we can also hunt this guy if we want. Uh, let's see, how are we on food, though? We're, like, okay on food. And I don't have anyone with a gun right now because our soldier died, so I think maybe we'll just hold off on hunting. Here you go, yeah, so this it looks like this woman, or is that a guy? No, I think that's a guy, maybe. Uh, I can't see her name. Oh, no, Victoria, so maybe it is, I guess it is a woman. Anyway, she, I guess she's going to bury our dead soldier guy. Yeah, or Victoriana. Okay, that's a weird name. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're, uh, I think after the carpentry workshop, we will build a house, uh, give them somewhere to sleep. If you assign people to a workshop, they can sleep inside the workshop. Obviously, they would prefer the house, but you know, sleeping in the workshop is slightly better than uh, than uh, sleeping outside. So they can at least get started there. Let's see. Imperial Airship Corps reports an unidentified group has been spotted supporting, or sorry, approaching your colony. Uh, possibly bandits or something. So that sounds bad. And I think because it's nighttime, everyone stopped working because, you know, they don't work at night. Uh, yeah, so this would be a time where it, it's really nice to uh, have the ability to speed up time, the passage of time. I really, yeah, I really hope they add that. I mean, I realize it's still an alpha, you know, obviously it's not feature complete. They're still adding stuff all the time. But you think that would have been one of the first things they added because I think it's been an alpha for like a year and a half or two years or something. So... Hopefully that comes soon, because I think this button just pauses stuff, yeah. As far as I know, like if I press the plus key, you know, nothing gets faster. So I don't, I don't think there's, yeah, that assumes it. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to, uh, to speed up time. What is this? Oh, I see, okay, yeah, conduct mineral art. Mineralogical survey. We don't have uh, a guy who can do that yet, though, so we can't do that. Well, if bandits are approaching us, then we're gonna die, basically, because our soldier is already dead. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I never had that happen, like, right at the beginning. Uh, I've had people die, but usually after, like, four or five hours of playing. Never, like, within the first minute or two. So that was annoying. And now that it's daytime, they're starting to work again. Uh, so yeah, they will... It looks like they have just about all the resources needed to build uh, this this building, so we should see that soon. Oh wait, really? Two out of six? Uh, okay, well, they need three more stone blocks. Uh, they have all the wood they need. Whoa, who are these? Are these... Oh, fish people. Okay, well, that could be good or bad. Um, let's see. Click here to receive report. So, Victoriana Hatcroft has reported seeing a strange fishy looking creature. Walked upright like a human, and it's eyes gleamed with some kind of intelligence. What shall we do? Um, well, we don't have the military to shoot them. If we start a war, we're probably all just going to die. So let's try to communicate with them for making any rash decisions. Of course, that's going to piss off like the more xenophobic people of our colony, who just basically want to exterminate every non-human creature they encounter. But uh, tough, tough for them because we don't have nearly enough manpower to do that. So if we start a war, we'll probably end up dying.
But yeah, so maybe if we're lucky, we can stay friendly with them for the time being, and then uh, maybe later we can commit genocide. Finally, they started working on the carpentry workshop. Um, once that's done, I'm gonna lay out the house. I don't want to lay it out now because I don't wanna, I don't wanna like distract them from working on the, the workshop. more of these things for uh ten marked already. Jump down and over forage. Should probably set up a farm too right now. Uh I guess we can do it like right here near the stockpile. Let us grow let's see medium, high, medium, low, crop yield medium growth rate low. I think we probably want a growth rate high thing right now. Uh, oh, but the yield's low. Okay, well maybe this one's better. It has a yield of medium and growth rate of medium and labor is only medium. So let's do that. And then uh, we will assign... Oh, well, let's see who our work crews are. Uh, I don't think we want the work crew with two people on it yet. We'll, we'll go with this guy, Plithowick. And so he'll work it by himself until he gets workers assigned to him. Alright, so we should see that guy go over and start farming soon. <clears throat> and our carpentry workshop is very, very slowly getting built. There we go, finally. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, see, there's the roof, you know. Look at it it's, uh, in all its procedurally generated glory. And, you know, it conforms to the uh, shape of the building and all that, so that's cool. Anyway, we'll never look at that again. Uh, <clears throat> so, turn that off, and then Carpentry Workshop. I think I'm just going to assign. Oops, uh, probably this guy. I think he's. Uh, yeah, he's another single guy, because we don't really need two people working it right now. Later on, we'll probably need more wood. Um, actually, you know what? I forgot. They just changed it in a patch. Uh, before, the only thing you could make from the workbench was uh, planks and nothing else. Uh, okay, cool. We got two workers. Good. Uh, but they changed it recently, so like when you have modules and stuff, uh, you can build them here, and it'll save time later when you're building... Uh, when you're building uh, houses and stuff like that, or when you're building buildings, they can unpack them. So, first we will... Uh, why did it not add it? What is going on here? Huh? Workshop quality? Oh, you know what, I probably can't order anything yet because, yeah. I'm guessing I can't order anything yet because I don't have the modules built. I think that's a new change because I think you used to be able to queue it up even before it's uh, capable of building it. So we'll wait till they build those. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess you can either build them the old fashioned way where they just bring logs to them or you can, you know, pre. Oh no, look at that. Okay, so I guess certain items have to be pre made. It's so like that standing desk. I have to make one in the carpentry workshop. Uh, yeah, okay. And these things can be built from logs. Interesting. Okay, and that requires a plank. This requires, uh, I don't know, I'm not showing. Another plank. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, so actually, I probably want to change uh, change the workshop to the guy who has two. Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, I forgot, we just got some people, so let's. Uh, oh no, let's take it out of this group and put him into uh, the workshop guy. And then <clears throat> this other person. Oh, well, you know what, maybe we want this other person farming, actually. So we'll have two farmers. Uh, as you can see, we did start farming, but it's going kind of slow. So, I think we'll have two people working. Yeah, you can see some people sleeping in here, because we don't have a... We don't uh, have a actual house yet. 
Um, okay, so we need to build a standing desk. So we'll build one of those. Uh, we want to make planks. Uh, we want to always have a minimum. Of, oops. Uh, yeah, that's the priority rather. Okay, so we'll put the priority down because you know we have a few planks stocked up right now. But I think we always want a minimum of twenty. And then once we finish the standing desk, we can start making planks. Uh, yeah, just looking at some of the buildings, you can see there's three types of houses, offices, uh, barracks. Oh, okay, yeah, that's how you can make more soldiers. If you uh, make a barracks, you can assign people there. <clears throat> Naturalist office, mine, uh, barber shop, laboratory, other things here. Uh, workshops, you have carpentry, kitchen, textile, ceramics, metalworks, and chemist shop. I think next we want a house. Uh... So we'll build a lower class home. Uh, I guess we can do it like right about here. Uh, 17 logs, geez. Well, we want enough space to put a lot of beds. We don't want to have to build multiple houses, so that's okay. And then cots. Uh, yeah, we'll do one right there. Right there. Uh, I think that should be okay. Alright, so we'll have those. Then we have the door uh, over here, I think. Uh, we'll do it with this cabinet, this decor. Uh, they do need a table, so we'll stick that right there. Oh! Move uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, this is just for decor. Okay, we'll stick this thing over here, I think. Maybe another one over here. Just make it nice for them. Stick one of these right here if it wants to turn. There we go. Uh, I guess that's okay. Oh, what just happened? Move. Okay, there we go. And yeah, let's uh, put a window, I guess, like right here. And then like another one. I don't know, over here somewhere. It's not symmetrical, but who cares? Uh, and then, yeah, we're good with that. Uh, let's see, I think a lot of these require, yeah, to be pre-made, so <clears throat> we'll come over here. We will, uh, order a couple beds. Uh, I think we need, like, four right there. We'll probably just order a few extra. One or five, we'll have one extra left over. Um, uh, and again, I think I'd rather make the other things first until we run out of planks, at least, because, oh, I guess we're already out of planks. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think we need a make uh, four chairs, but we'll, again, we'll keep on doing that. Uh, four chairs, now uh, let's put an extra one for now. Uh, table, maybe one extra table. Uh, <clears throat> we'll make, uh, say, two cabinets for now. And then I think we made a small shrine, so we'll make like two or three of those. Okay, so that's good for now. Huh, okay. I guess that impacts happiness. I don't know, maybe it impacts like how uh maybe it impacts like how uh how hard they work. I'm not really sure. Cause that's like a new I haven't played since they added that. Well, we're about twenty three minutes in, so it's probably a little dull just watching them build stuff, so maybe I will send someone to explore over here just because that's where the killer um, obelisk creature came from. Ob Obeliskian or whatever. So it will be fun to uh, see more people die. Yeah, you know how it's uh, still very early alpha? Besides the fact that it says alpha, there's no mini map yet. <laughs> it's just a blank box where they want to put one eventually. <laughs> So yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of development left still in this game. I mean, personally, even though I, I do enjoy what's there already, I would wait to buy it until it's closer to release, unless you're like really hardcore into simulation games. Or even maybe wait until it's actually released. Anyone gonna go explore? Apparently not. Let me try that again. Oh, there we go. 
maybe you can only click on places you can view. Uh, well, well, we'll go send someone there. Maybe someone will, uh, maybe they'll come across some uh, eldritch horrors and die. That's always funny. But yeah, like a lot of the systems that, uh, before the game it was even in early access, a lot of the systems they talked about, which like really attracted me to the game in the first place, aren't in the game yet as far as I know. Like I know there was uh, talk of being able to find like evil artifacts, which you, you can already, um, but there was like benefits to it, uh, or trade-offs rather. Like you could, for instance, uh, use an evil artifact to power... Uh... Cool, we got a new overseer, okay. That's good. So yeah, you can use a... We'll probably turn that guy into an NCO once we build our barracks, which maybe I want to do next. I'm not sure, but yeah, you could. One of the things that they uh, were talking about they wanted to do was like you could use an like, evil artifact to power like your factories and your workshops, and it would greatly produce, <coughs> sorry, greatly increase production, but at the cost of like spreading madness among your colonists, and which could like lead them to, uh, I don't know, like murder each other or forming cults. So. Like, that's not really in the game yet. They can form cults, but I don't know what they culturally do. And you can't, you know, power your workshops with the evil artifacts yet. I think that you can find some. But yeah, a lot of the cool stuff that, you know, they advertised hasn't been developed yet. As far as I know, they still want to do all of that. But again, you know, it's in, uh, early, it's in early access, so... Yeah, so I mean, this would have been nice if they had a uh, a way to speed this up. There's really no reason that it shouldn't take 26 minutes just to do this little amount of uh, amount of work, right? If you could uh, say do three times speed, then it would have been here in like eight minutes or nine minutes rather. Reminds me of the old Tropo games before they. Uh, before they started putting quick build into them, like I think in Tropical 1, if you want to build an apartment complex, like in game time it would take like a year and a half, which, you know, I suppose is realistic, but uh, not all that compelling from a gameplay standpoint. Well, we looks like we're uh, harvesting some food, or yeah, we just started harvesting our first uh, bushel of maize. Uh, how are we doing on our food? Okay, we're, we're okay, we have a lot of fungus and some uh, berries, and now we're getting some maize, so that, I think we're okay for a bit. Plus, we have those R rocks around we can hunt. And looks like we got a guy better at uh, carpentry. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I guess. Uh... Oh, look at that. You can actually force them to work at night. Okay. I'm guessing they probably get unhappy if you work them 24 hours a day, so probably don't want to do that. I mean, I guess you could just shift them so you don't have everyone resting at the same time, so at least something's always happening. That could be a good idea, maybe. But, uh, oh yeah, that might be something to play around with later. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Like I said earlier, I have the flu right now. I've been miserable for, like, five days. But, uh, hopefully... It's not uh, too annoying to listen to. My throat's really sore, you know, so I have no idea how I sound right now. I guess I, I'll find out after I save the video and play it back. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't feel well right now. Uh, well, you know, we're at 29 minutes now, and I doubt anything interesting is going to happen in the next minute. Um, I mean, this is right now. It's a very slow game because there's no way to. Uh, no way to increase the speed, but even so, I still like it for what it is, and I'm hoping that as they continue to develop it, it'll get better. Because I really like the previous game, uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore. I, like I, I have like a hundred something hours on that, and according to Steam, and I bought all the DLC. And, you know, it's a fun game. Uh, so I'll probably make a video of that soon, actually. But anyway, that will be it for this episode. Um, I will probably make some more videos continuing uh, from where we left off with this colony. In fact, why don't we just save right now. Uh, where's the menu? Menu. Save. Okay. 
uh, yeah, so that'll be it for today. And then maybe in a couple days when I don't feel so shitty, I will uh, make another video. Alright, so thanks for watching. Until next time.